And here's an overview of the Chargent Recurring Payments application. So you see that uh, one of the new components of Chargent as of the Spring 10 release is this section here where we support uh, multiple payment frequencies. You can obviously do a one-time one transaction, which would of course be the default for Chargent. But in the case that you want to establish a, a recurring transaction, you can set up monthly, quarterly, bi-monthly, weekly, and daily processes. So let's say that we wanted to charge this customer every week. The next question that we were asked is, when would we stop running this payment schedule? And we give you four options. Starting from the bottom, you can run this forever, which is unending. Of course, you must have uh, an agreement from your customer to bill the card on an ongoing basis. All of this assumes that you have the agreement from the customer to process their card on an automated basis. Secondly is charge the card until the balance due reaches zero. Third would be charge for a specified number of transactions or charge until a specific date. So we will start by choosing count. You see here that I've specified a payment count of 60. So this would run for essentially 60 weeks. If I were to change this over to run until a certain date, then we're going to look at the payment start date and end date. Obviously here we don't have an end date, so the system will error out unless we provide an end date. So let's say weekly until the end of August. At that point I can remove my payment count. No longer need it. So this is designed to be very simple, easy to use, also very flexible. In the event that you just want to charge, in this case you see we have a $60 order. We're $4.50 is left. We're charging $0.25 cents per transaction, you see here on the left. And this would run weekly, so we could do a weekly charge for $0.50. Cents. Oops. And we could run this until the balance due is zero however many weeks that may take. As long as the payment status is in recurring, it will run according to your automated schedule until it is complete. The system will automatically change it to complete, or you can manually stop it. Also, if we encounter an error, such as if you tell it to stop on a certain date but you don't provide an end date, it will automatically enter a status of error. So we'll put this back in recurring till balance due. We're going to save it. You can see down here that we are now have a recurring column in the transaction list that will keep track of which transactions have been sent through automatically. So here's an example of one with it, with a real authorization. You see the description here was a daily charge, 25 cents a day. And the way that this runs, using a new feature called Scheduled Apex, so your administrator within Salesforce will come in and click this Schedule Apex button and they will set up a Chargent recurring job utilizing our scheduled batch processing class that you see here. And they will specify this to run every day. And you specify your start and end time. Obviously it's critical that you keep this running and do not let it lapse. So we put this into, let's say, September 30th we want to run this at 2 a.m. And here it's telling us that it's already scheduled for execution. And then you can monitor that job by coming down to your administration setup to scheduled jobs. And you see here that we have charge and SFA submitted today and it's going to run tomorrow at 2 a.m. And it's that simple. Your customers will automatically get an email receipt for every charge and you can simply stop the automatic process just by changing the status to stopped.